All right, hey everyone. So today's video is on a tactical fanny pack. So this is a piece of kit that I purchased for myself a while ago from a veteran owned US company called Camo HQ. They make a huge range of different camouflage pattern products uh, to include streetwear and things like that, apart from hoodies and things like that. Um, they also sell uh, various camouflage patterns in sheets of like polyester and such, but they make these fanny packs as well. So I got it in the God's Plaid M81 US Woodland. The camouflage patterns that they do, they are true to they are true to design and color and everything. Um, this looks great and it matches perfectly with my my uniforms and my chest rig and everything. The reason I got this. As you as you know with me, I do not like the duty belt slash battle belt kind of thing. Load bearing equipment belts, belt systems, you know, like your your harnessed LBE systems are great. Okay. I approve of those and, and I use those. But for something like running with a chest rig, I much prefer this over a battle slash duty belt. I do not like duty belts because they just they kill your hips and your lower back. I wore them for years. Uh you know, in various applications with uh, security contracting and stuff, and I just do not like them. So, I run it light. I run it with a camouflage fanny pack along with, you know, a chest rig and things like that when I'm running it in that configuration. So, overview with this. Camo HQ, U.S. veteran-owned U.S. company. So, the camouflage patterns are great. This is their fanny pack. Again, they make different patterns. So, double zippered. I'll open this up. I am using this right now as an IFAC, or as a, as a secondary medical uh, pouch. So it is crammed chock full of medical equipment to include tourniquet, Z-fold seals, uh, emergency blanket, uh, more cravats, chest seals, other medical stuff, you name it. And there's a smaller pouch on the inside here. You can put whatever in there, you know, batteries or whatever. And then you have this big main compartment. It will fit your nods. It, you can see all this medical pack in here. I got an MPA in here too. Nasopharyngeal. So it will fit your nods. It will fit a PVS-14. It will fit, you know, those kinds of things. Some of your smaller nods. Obviously like a 7, which is like the double goggle, the single lens, the big bricky units. It probably won't fit in here too good. But like your your standard monoculars and stuff or your smaller collapsible or, or folding into each other uh, modular units and stuff, they will actually fit in here. But, uh, yeah, I use this for medical. You can use it for an admin pouch. You can use it for whatever, you know. But, yeah, so it's got a smaller pocket on the back on the inside there. And then the big main compartment, okay. It's got a single strap here, nylon strap, with, your, with a, a standard clip. The stitching is good on this. It's, and the material is, uh, I'm not, what is the material? It's like, a, it's like a nylon polyester blend. So it's actually really... It's quite strong, quite strong material, so I like that. Um, yeah, it's just, it's well made. It's well constructed. The stitching is good again, and I just run this around my waist, uh, you know, in tandem with my chest rig. And uh, it, it doesn't get in the way. I can move it around to my back if I need to, which you may have seen in the uh, doing the things with Raul from Machine Works LLC. I had it, uh, I was wearing it along with my chest rig for a time, and then when I took my chest rig off, I had, still had this on, because essential medical, and I had it, I had this sitting along the small of my back. It works perfect. So, very happy about that. It, the black band here, not a big deal for me, because it does match M81 US Woodland fine. I would like to see this in, say, a forest green color or a brown color. I think that would work especially for other camo patterns that would work better to blend in same with the clip and stuff and it does have adjustment so but other than that like it's just really good to go for a fanny pack for a tactical application fanny pack streetwear fanny pack tourism travel fanny pack whatever it is again they make a number of different camo patterns if you can think of the camo pattern they probably make it like, seriously, go check out Camo HQ, okay? So, that's about the video here. Just a piece of kit that I use and a product that I, I actually do recommend. I, they don't make a whole lot of tactical products, Camo HQ, but this fanny pack is good to go. 
I found that it's actually very useful. So, something for people to consider. I will link Camo HQ's website in the description to go check it out. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. So, thanks for checking it out. Thank you to Camo HQ for making cool products and being a, a good company in the game. Their stuff isn't necessarily the cheapest, but it's good for what it is. So, I will say that. And the camo colors, the camo patterns are true to color and true to design with their prints and everything. So, they do everything in-house. So, just remember that. All right. That rounds it off. Metal up. Out.